Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Darth Sloan, your official partner to content creator for Expansive Worlds. And we have a roach, I believe, swimming over to our bait right now. And that is what this guide's going to be about. How to get yourself a diamond roach. As of the recording of this video, I don't have a diamond roach, but we are in the spot that I caught my diamond crucian. And... From all the reports, you can also catch a diamond roach at this same location. We're going to look at this spot and some other spots. Pretty good start right there with a 1.76 pound silver roach. Before we hop into it, guys, please do me a favor. Hit that like, subscribe, and notify bell. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider so. We are out here putting the good work in for you guys trying to make these guides so that everybody's got at least a, a handle on where to go and what types of baits to use. Right now we are using a size eight pearl barley. Now I could put on blood worm, but then I would be catching crucian and, and rudd and roach. You know, the, the pearl barley at least cuts the crucian out. Not sure if it cuts out the rudd or not. We'll have to look at that. But anyway, guys, Let's hop into it and look at where we are at the moment. You can see we're up here. I just love this little spot because it's a quick walk from right there. And you can also summon a boat if you get tired of fishing here. Just come right on down here. This is also a diamond roach spot. We're going to be looking at all the spots. They're basically in a lot of the places that the Crucian are at. But they're in a few more other places too. All right, looks like we got another taker coming in. These roach, they kind of fool you. They look huge. But then when you get them, they're a pound and a half. <laughs> just They're just made kind of chunky, like wide, you know? Kind of like a panfish or something. All right, we got... 1.42 pound roach as we move down to probably my second favorite spot and we're fishing off the bottom here let's see what we've put into could probably still fish with the float here i'll test that right here in a second because it's only 30 some like 33 feet deep that's probably shallow enough if you cast more toward the bank, it's definitely shallow enough. So we have us a bronze roach right here. Um, fishing with the pearl barley. See there. And I'll show you where we're at on the map. Just down here. See, I really like fishing here. And because when the fishing dries up here, you just hop in your boat, come down here and fish here. And pearl barley seems to be the bait, you know, that just doesn't attract unwanted fish other than red. All right, here's just one more with the bottom fitted rod before we switch over to the to the float, just so I can do a little comparison. Still in the same spot. Roach doesn't matter if it's daytime or nighttime. It's starting to turn dark, and that is okay. I was actually getting ready to fish for some pike, but I was running out of daylight, so that's why I chose Roach. And the diamonds I still need in the game. And so there is our Roach. We could move up to a seventh hook and eliminate some of these bronzes. I like to get them biting first. Plus, we just picked up a lot of challenges. So you'll get way more bites if you put a bronze hook on. So I actually got a nine hook on this one. It just helps me get through my challenges a little bit quicker. And then once I've got my challenges done, I like to move up to a silver hook. A lot of times that's what I do. All right, guys, we're getting a bite on the float set up here. So either, whatever your fancy is, you know, if you'd rather float fish, you can still float fish here. Um, I don't know. We could test it. 
you know, we're still in like the 30 something range. Uh, this is deeper water back behind us. We could see. I don't know if we'll get a bite on the float casting back in that direction. But for science, let's see. And roach may also like to stick more close to the bank. So I don't even know if we'll be able to catch a roach right here in the middle of the water. But just for science, let's do it. But it seems to me like if it goes beyond 30 feet, you get less bites. You know, you, you're still going to have that fish that swims up occasionally. You've seen them surface and it's like they come up and they'll jump. Come up to the surface and then go back down. If, you know, if one comes up close enough, it's going to come bite it. But it's just, you're better served, in my opinion, bottom fishing for these things, especially once you get out to about 30 feet. And we've not had a bite here. If I cast closer to the bank, it seems like I get, you know, with float fishing, I get more bites on these bottom feeder type fish. But uh, I'm going to switch over to a bottom and, and cast over in here in the, the deeper waters and see if we can test that theory or not. But I'm pretty sure that's the way it works. Yeah, we've not had our line on the bottom long at all, and we've already gotten a bite. And we were 40, right around 45 feet deep, I think. Um, just, yeah. I would cat if I were casting more toward the bank, you can float fish if you want, but start casting deeper water, you need to use that, that bottom bottom rod if they're a bottom lurker. And roach are a bottom lurker. So see what we've got here. So pearl barley, guys, is what I recommend. Eliminates a lot of those other fish. There's just another roach. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. I want to show you that there are 10 known diamond locations reported in the official angler discord for roach. The places that we have been to during this video, it's two and three were the three spots that we spent most of our time at. And we are at spot three right now, bottom fishing. These other places, you will run into a lot of mirror carp and common carp in those areas. Um, you will at number seven as well. Uh, but make sure if you do go to these that you use the pearl barley and that eliminates them at least. And you may, you may have occasionally get a rud, you know, but the pearl barley is if you're just targeting roach. You know, now blood worms excellent if you don't mind catching crucian, if you don't mind catching, you know, roach or rud, you can kind of catch all three of those, you know, on that. Uh, but you occasionally, I think maybe eel might bite that as well. But favorite two spots, guys, two and three. Start off at two because it's just a short walk. And when they stop biting there, you know, or the biting slows down, some in a boat come down to three. And just rinse and repeat, guys, and eventually you'll get that roach. I don't have it yet, but I've just started really fishing for them. And that's going to be my strategy, and it's just a matter of time. Okay? So do me a favor. Hit that like, subscribe, and notify bell. Tell your friends. Dar's got all kinds of guides out there for you. My goal is to have a guide for every fish in the game. And we're getting really close to having them all on Spain already. So... You guys do me a favor let me know in the comments what are you looking forward to and possibly this week's backfill we're thinking fingers crossed trospor it may get in some be getting some love with the backfill coming up this week the update 1.5.5 could be hitting this week if everything goes right but let me know in the comments guys is there a guide out there you'd like to see made next i've got a list of fish i've not made a guide on you could point me in that direction and I'll do a guide on that fish. So you guys let me know. But for this one, recommend number eight, blood worm. Or if you want to really target the roach, number eight, pearl barley, or move up to a number seven to eliminate the bronzes. You know, but I'm working on my daily challenges and things right now. So I like to use that number eight throw in a few of those bronzes once my challenges are done move up to a number seven 
But there you go, guys. Hope this helps you get your diamond roach. Happy angling out there. We'll see you Tackle Tuesday. Catch you in the next video.